we, I guess, um, given a lot of the changes that have occurred uh, in terms of expectations in pharmacy schools, you know, we just underwent accreditation. Um, one of the things that our school has worked really hard to develop is our experiential program um, and getting us out in the community, getting us exposed to um, different, um, different environments and different um, groups of people. And so hopefully uh, when we encounter um, different groups of people um, at the pharmacy or in the hospital and the clinics, we'll be able to communicate with them effectively. Um, change has a lot of um, different, I guess, faces in the, in the pharmacy profession. I think the big change that um, the profession will undertake um, are pharmacist responsibilities in the future. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, push for pharmacists to um, develop more autonomy in the profession um, and to take a greater stake in, um, in offering patient health care um, and patient services. So not only medication safety, but also um, just in general health concerns. I guess in order for um, change to occur, you have to communicate effectively. And St. Louis College of Pharmacy has given me ample opportunities in order to develop that talent um, or uh, that, uh, that ability to communicate effectively with patients. Uh, patients, I think, in the future are going to expect more from their pharmacists um, in terms of medication safety um, and also in terms of communicating or reinforcing what the doctor has, um, has, has told them or not told them about their medications. And so I feel like. Um, through my experiences, I'm going to be able to, to be able to communicate that well with them and kind of garner a um, trusting relationship with them. Well, when people, when patients come to a pharmacy, uh, a lot of them have, uh, have, different, have different sicknesses, different diseases. Um, they feel very vulnerable and um, it's not an easy experience for them. And so in order to offer effective healthcare, effective, um, effective service, you have to be able to, to make them feel like they can trust you. Um, you have to make them feel comfortable. And um, once, you've, once you've done that, then they'll be more apt to, to listen. And you can you know, share and impart your knowledge with them and help them, um, help them get better.